Frugality is enjoying the virtue of getting good value for every minute of your life energy and from everything you have the use of. Violed Robin Number 10. Automate Your Savings Financial success does not magically appear. You have to engineer and finesse it. If you're struggling to meet your financial goals or save money, automating your savings can be the one thing that can move you from a point of being broke to financial freedom. Financial stress can push you into other unhealthy habits such as excessive alcohol consumption and substance abuse, weight loss, depression, and other physical illnesses such as headaches and gastrointestinal issues. What is automatic saving and how do you do it? Well, we're glad you asked. Automating your savings simply means automatically transferring some money from your checking to your savings account. For example, if you make $3,500 a month and have purpose to save 30% of your take-home pay, you need to save $1,050. With automatic savings, the amount you want to save is automatically transferred from your checking to your savings account immediately after your check goes through. To make this happen, you have to create a standing order that dictates how much money goes into your savings account, the date the money should be transferred from checking, when you should receive your statement of account, and all that financial jargon. Automating your savings eliminates any human interaction, which means that you will not accidentally forget to deposit money into your savings account. This habit allows you to save money regularly, which edges you closer to your financial goals. Number 9. Compare Prices Whoever said comparison kills creativity has never used a price comparison tool. Price comparison is the exercise of comparing the prices of a given item by different merchants. This is a frugal habit that many frugal people have adopted, and they're saving massive dollars on their shopping. For example, if you go to an online shop to get a cashmere sweater for the upcoming cold season, you might find that your favorite store is selling it at $130. But if you dig deeper, you might find another shop selling the same cashmere sweater at $90. If you always go for the first price you see on a product, you lose your money big time. You can use price comparison websites to find the most competitive price for the products you want to buy. Some of the popular price comparison websites include Price Grabber, Camel Camel Camel, Shopping.com, Become, BizRate, and Shopzilla. Don't worry when some of your family members and friends call you cheap for comparing prices. You know your financial goals and you're willing to do whatever it takes to achieve them. Shopping will never run out of fashion, and as long as you're shopping, why not get the best of both worlds? You get quality items for cheap and get to save your money. Number 8. Delay Purchase Have you ever found yourself making a purchase that you had not planned for? Statistics say that an average person spends about $5,000 a year on impulse buys. Unbelievable, right? Impulse buying is tied to the need for instant gratification, and marketers have mastered the art of exploitation to mint money from buyers. And if you want to follow Carrie Bradshaw's footsteps and make shopping your cardio, you're in for a huge financial letdown. For example, you want to shop for a pair of jeans, but when you go to the shop, you find a pair of diamond earrings selling at $200. You had not planned for this purchase, but you find yourself adding it to the cart together with your $50 pair of pants. Checking out immediately will cost you $250, but delaying that purchase for a day or two will cost you $0 and will give you some time to think about whether you need that pair of earrings. Delaying a purchase allows us to clear our thoughts and make calculated decisions about our finances. If you come back after a few days and still find that you need to buy the items in your cart, go ahead and check out. But more often than not, you find yourself removing some of the items you don't need from the cart, which saves you money. Number 7. Save Windfall Sometimes at work, if the boss likes you, you get some benefits such as bonuses, employee of the month checks, and other unexpected monetary gifts. When you receive these kinds of windfall, don't rush into a dealership to purchase yourself the newest Chevy. Instead, invest that money in a profitable market and earn some pretty handsome profits. Another type of windfall you can get is a lottery winning which is a large sum of money some people win when Lady Luck decides to smile down on them. If you win the lottery, whose odds of winning are 1 to 176 million, don't go buying a $2 million Bugatti. Instead, put that money in a savings account or invest in winning markets. This will help you acquire a financial discipline that will edge you closer to financial freedom. Saving your windfall allows you to reach your financial goals faster because you're saving larger sums of money than your regular savings. 
It's more fulfilling to come from grass to glory than to take a nosedive from glory to grass, don't you think? Number 6. Convert Cost into Hours Have you ever wondered how many hours or days you had to work to afford your $500 watch? If not, you should start calculating how many hours of hard labor you had to go through to earn that $200 you had to spend in one sitting trying to please your friends. We bet you would want to slap yourself in the face. For example, if you work 4-hour shifts for $15 an hour, that means that you had to work for close to 14 hours to earn $200. That is a whopping 3.5 days of work. Imagine that! Converting the cost of the expenditure into hours may cause you to have frequent jaw-dropping moments when you calculate the hours you had to break your back, only to spend that money in a flash. When you think like that, you have no choice but to change your spending habits and adopt a frugal way of life. This will ensure that your coffers always have some money, which will bring you closer to financial independence. Number 5. Save Loose Change What do you do with the change you get back from your shopping trip? Do you buy those addictive sour patches, drop your loose change in the donation jar, or do you save it? If you save your loose change, more power to you. You're more disciplined than the rest of us. Saving loose change is not something many people give a second thought to. They'd rather buy snacks to avoid the annoying clinking sound of coins in their pockets or purses. But here is one reason why you should learn to love that sound. Let's say you've gone shopping for toiletries and cleaning supplies. A 12-pack of toilet paper sells at $13.63 at Walmart. A bottle of Tide detergent sells at $5.72. And a pack of trash bags goes for $6.13, totaling $25.48. If you give the cashier $30, you'll get back $4.52 in change. Saving that change every month would give you $54.24 a year. It may sound like a small amount, but you wouldn't have it if you decided to get Sour Patches instead, would you? Saving loose change helps you become more money conscious, which can be a small step into your financial future if you learn to embrace it. And if you have a mouth that needs some sort of rinsing, how about putting some change into a swear jar for compensation? you'd learn how to refine your language and save money while you're at it. And that's what we like to call a win-win. Number 4. Cancel Unused Subscriptions Ever wonder why you find lesser amounts every time you check your account? It could be because you have subscriptions you forgot about. For example, you may be into the paleo and keto way of life and have subscribed to a $1.99 newsletter a month from three sites. That's $5.97 worth of newsletters a month. Even your cable can be cancelled. Cable costs upwards of $100 a month. You get hundreds of channels, but we doubt you watch more than five, even if you stay home all day. That's why paying all that money is a waste, because you're probably spending $10 to $20 out of $100. If you have to subscribe to a TV service, Netflix, Hulu, and others are more pocket-friendly and give you the same quality streaming services as a more expensive service. Look at how your money is deducted from your account to find out what subscriptions are making that dent and do away with them. Keeping up this frugal habit can save you more than $100 a month, which amounts to $1,200 a year. We bet you don't even have a $1,200 emergency fund saved up. Well, why not start saving for an emergency fund with that money? It will bring you closer to your financial independence. Number 3. Buy Items in Bulk Vincent O.K. Nwachuku an African author quoted, The rich, who can afford extravagance, are the ones who benefit the most from cheap commodities. They buy bulk and get robust discounts. They have what it takes to trap a valuable possession when it is reduced to a fling-away price. Rich people get richer because they know how to live frugal lifestyles. They know that if they buy items in bulk, they'll save a great deal of money. You can save money too when you adopt the frugal habit of buying bulk items. For example, at Walmart, 3.2 pounds of chicken breast cost $7.88, while 6.25 pounds cost $15.02. Buying the bigger quantity looks like you're spending too much money, but if you look at the cost per unit, you'll find that buying the 6.25 pounds is much cheaper than the 3.2 pounds. The same thing is true for foodstuffs and other items. The bulkier the purchase, the cheaper the items are. Learn to buy bulk items and save money. The more the bulk, the more money you save. Number 2. Save Energy Saving energy does not only help you conserve the environment, but it also saves you money. But it all boils down to your personal choices. If you want to waste your money and pollute the environment, that's on you. 
Being intentional with how you spend your energy can make the world a better place by contributing to reducing your carbon footprint, and it also keeps a lot of dollars in your pocket. For example, leaving your laptop plugged in consumes 45 kilowatt hours of electricity per week. If one kilowatt hour is estimated at 11 cents, your laptop alone will cost you close to $5 a week. In a month, you spend about $20 on an idle laptop. Imagine how much it would cost you if you kept it plugged in for one year. It would not only deteriorate your laptop's battery, causing you to buy a new one, but it would also consume a whopping $240 when idle. If that doesn't shock you, we don't know what does. You can save energy by opting to use a solar system, turning off your gadgets, walking or biking instead of driving, hanging your clothes to dry off instead of using a dryer, and even doing something as mundane as turning off the lights when they're not in use. You'll not only be saving money, but you'll also instill this habit into your children, which may be passed down many generations to come. A nice legacy to be remembered by, if you ask us. Hey, before we get into number one, make sure to check out the links in the description for our best recommendations to boost your savings. Number one, track your spending. After everything has been said and done, your financial education would be for nothing if you didn't keep tabs on your spending habits. Tracking your spending means knowing where your money goes to help you spend less and save more. This is a frugal habit that has allowed many people to live successful financial lives because it has helped them take control of their money. For example, if you withdraw money from the ATM, some banks charge a withdrawal fee of between $1.50 to $3.50. This is a transaction you can't afford to ignore because withdrawing three times a week can cost you up to $10.50. Tracking such transactions lets you know how much you're spending on withdrawals only, which allows you to make a better financial judgment about the frequency of your ATM visits. You can get simple tracking apps for free, and you'll be smiling all the way to higher savings, which helps your financial graph to skyrocket. Ken Hubbard said, the safest way to double your money is to fold it over and put it in your pocket. This too can work, but we'll leave that for you to decide. 